here in my chicken coop and I am enjoying this beautiful day that we're having. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have a nice sunshiny day for once. It has been raining nonstop, it feels like. Everything's so wet and muddy and gross. So I'm going into the chicken coop and I am doing a few things. I'm shoveling some dirt. I'm just trying to turn this dirt over so when they take these dirt baths, they can try to get some, maybe some fresh dirt instead of all this wet dirt. The sun is shining on it, so be kind of nice. What um, I've noticed lately is that I have went from using that the wood chips, not the cedar chips, but just the regular, the chips in the run and in the coop. And I'm doing just hay for now and then there's some dirt and stuff underneath there. And I think I'm gonna put a layer of the chips also. But um, it's not as pretty and nice as um, the chips. But I like it better because I'm not out here raking it every day, worried about them stepping in their poop and all this gross stuff because I've had to take chickens in, wash their feet. I know I'm a mama hen, but you know, when you got sloppy little chickens that step in their own poop, you gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> Taking care of chickens, hard work sometimes. And it's just like they say, it's as easy as taking care of a cat. Well, I don't know. I, I guess cats do step in their own poop when they're burying it and stuff. But I don't think I've ever had to clean off my, my cat's feet from stinky old gross poop on them. But anyway, they are, they're doing better with this hay. As you can see, the hay is not showing all the, the poop and stuff. When I come out here and there was chips, the poop was right at the top of the chips. And so they'd run around and then they'd run right in the poop and I'd go, no, 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 don't step in that poop. Watch out, poop. They wouldn't listen. So um, they'd step in their poop. Then I'd have to go wash their feet. Oh my gosh. So these chickens are doing really well with this hay. I really like it, even though um, it's not as pretty. But I do like it, how the function of it. And um, so I'm gonna try to keep the hay and maybe layer it. I've heard of the layering system, which is um, they do carpenter sand, I think, and some hay. They do the chips, they do, I don't know what they do exactly. I'd have to really research it. I do do my research on YouTube and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. I haven't done enough on that. They said, all you have to do is is rake out the run once a year or the coop once a year if you do that layering system, but because it creates its own mulch, but they said that you cannot put that diametaceous, I don't say it right, I know. My cousin always tells me, no Rhonda, you, pronounce it I can't remember even now diametaceous earth anyway I'll say it the way I want to say it sorry Tammy diametaceous earth you can't put that diametaceous earth in the chicken coop if you're going to do the layering system because the layering system is supposed to mulch you know so you do the layer you know how you I guess you do mulching and then you put the water on it and then it mulches and creates its own good bacteria and and um, kills off all that bad bacteria. Well, I do the diametaceous earth in the coop because I'm sorry, I don't want them to, to um, get bugs and mites and blah and all that. So as you can see, I've, I've done it on the walls and stuff. It's not very pretty, but that's okay. Um, it's not about prettiness, it's about functionality. So, um, yeah, it's kind of dirty in here because it's been so rainy. I have not come out here. And I, I don't like the looks of this. 
you know, I just don't. But, so I come out here with some hot soapy water a lot of times and I just, I just clean it up. But not lately because it has been pouring and raining and I'm done with that noise. Anyway, um, nice and sunny. I'm still not going to wash it today because I'm too busy doing other things. Come here, chick, chick, chicks. Come here, babies. And see, I have two of them that just run to me, that love me because they think I have worms to feed them but I'm not having worms right now in my hands but I guess I could go get something and they can eat out of my hands let's see I have some some whatever this is they really like this um I put I have these little black sunflower seeds they really love those and see these whole kernel horns whole kernels I just got a bag of this uh, mix and it's for squirrels and stuff like that they say you feed but it has it does have whole peanuts in there but um they don't seem to go for that too much but th the whole kernels of corn are supposed to have that good oil and when they smash that corn into um scratch then they take out that little i guess the little seed in that kernel corn and they um take that out and they they use it in you know oil all kinds like lotions even and stuff like that so the chickens do not get the benefit of that that good that good stuff so anyway they do like the black sunflower seeds they will eat that whole kernel corn if um if they must and it really helps them to um stay warm at night and really get those that good um that good benefit and i saw online that people were concerned that they cannot you know eat such a big piece well these little piglets have eaten bigger pieces of food than that little piece of corn and that's why they have the grit that's why you put the grit down for them to um uh, work it out work it in their little gizzards or whatever it is just like a chicken or whatever they need that and some people say that they get enough of it out of the dirt and they probably do but i go ahead and throw some down because i don't want to risk it and i've seen people um I've seen people extract chickens' gizzards before, and it's not a pretty sight, I tell you what. It's kind of ugly. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm a mama hen, so if I saw my chickens having a problem, then I would probably feel like I need to do that, and I don't, I don't really want to do that. So I am going to go ahead and throw that grit down. So he might want to throw some grit down if you have chickens. Now this one is the scariest cat of them all and she lays the pink eggs. Well, let me show you right here what I got today. I'm gonna throw that away. Today we got this one little pink egg and that is, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that one is from that really chicken chicken. And let me see, I will show you what I got, the other ones I got. So today we got out of our little nest, we got these three, and then that other pink one that's in there already. This little pink one is from the littlest Banty, and she's starting to grow, or she's starting to lay almost full size ones. This one here is from one of the ones that came to me that love to get worms. And then the green one also is the frizzle. That's the really frizzly one. The ugly but beautiful one inside. That's what it count. That's where it counts. The beauty inside. So, um, it's fun. Having chickens is fun. I suggest that everybody has a chicken and everyone has a dog. Those are two things that I absolutely love. People love cats. Well, yeah whatever but to each his own 
I love dogs and I love chickens now. So, and I love my family. My family's the best. I love my daughter. She's the best. Love her with all my heart. So, um, have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.